Okay, sure, having a college degree is great, but when you are truly passionate about something, you find a way to hustle and make stuff happen. At least, that's what this young Dutch boy will have us believe. By single-handedly taking on the biggest pollution crisis facing the world, can you believe this young man may just hold the key to a clean and healthy future for humanity? That's right, water pollution is one of the biggest threats to living ecosystems around the world. And if you ever find yourself sailing between Hawaii and California, you will know exactly what we mean. Running into the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, one of the five major garbage patches that currently plague the world's oceans. Did you know this vortex of trash in the North Pacific Ocean was first discovered in 1977 by a man named Charles Moore? Stretching over a whopping 620,000 square miles, this swirling gyre of ocean debris is a bitter reminder of how humans are directly contributing to the degradation of marine life. Realizing the sheer gravity of the matter, the 18-year-old Boyan Slat came up with a new idea that shook the world. Pitching his groundbreaking proposal during a TED Talk in 2013, this is the moment Slat finally knew what he wanted to do for the rest of his life. According to Slat, the Great Pacific Patch wasn't so impossible to scoop out after all. Using a well-curated floating system of nets, it was totally possible to harness the ocean currents in a way that you don't even have to go to the plastic, but let the plastic come to you. That's right, if you have ever driven past a landfill of trash, you probably have a good idea of the astonishing variety of waste humans are capable of producing. From cups, straws, bottles, and bags, to fishing buoys and nets, remember, there's a whole lot of plastic dumped into rivers and streams on a daily basis. And once these polluted streams of water flow into the ocean, it's pretty much endgame for hundreds of marine species who call the high seas their home and habitat. In fact, did you know 1,000 of the most polluted rivers in the world are responsible for 80% of plastic emissions into the ocean? It is these rivers that Slat's project, the Ocean Cleanup, hopes to tackle in the long run. Remember, over 8 million tons of plastic end up in our oceans every year. And if things don't change, the amount of plastic sloshing around the ocean could even double over the next 10 years. In fact, did you know by 2050, the total mass of plastic could exceed the weight of all fish in the sea? And speaking of fish, it's no news that the plastic nightmare can have a huge impact on the health of our marine ecosystem in years to come. And it's not just fish. Us humans are at risk too. Remember, these teeny tiny bits of plastic eventually work their way up the food chain, including, of course, the mouth-watering seafood we all love to eat. Now, you're probably wondering how does one go about removing the thousands of tons of plastic freely floating about in the vast and deep oceans of the world? Well, even though the systems used by the project are still being tried, tested, and upscaled, Here's the basic principle at work. Using a two-pronged strategy, by the year 2040, Ocean Cleanup aims to reduce the amount of plastic by a whopping 90%. Wondering how? Well, first up, to nip the bud at the very source, the project has interceptors deployed across the most polluted rivers around the world. In fact, as of now, these interceptor systems have already been deployed in rivers from Vietnam and Indonesia to Jamaica, Dominican Republic, and Malaysia, with more deployments planned for rivers in Bangkok, Thailand, and USA for the next few years. By intercepting plastic waste at the source, the idea is to stop plastic from reaching the ocean in the first place. But hey, what about all the plastic debris already floating about in the ocean? Well, that's where the other end of the strategy comes in. You see, with circulating currents in the garbage patch moving the plastic, it is possible to create natural and ever-shifting hotspots of higher concentration of debris. And all thanks to computational modeling, folks at Ocean Cleanup are able to precisely predict where these hotspots are, deploying cleanup systems in those exact areas. Remember, when it comes to this grand mission cleanup, time is of the essence. Because once trapped in patches, Plastic waste keeps circulating until it's broken down into smaller pieces, becoming harder and harder to clean up and easier and easier to be mistaken for food by these guys. 
Which means, for every moment we sit idle and do nothing, the damage to our environment becomes more and more irreversible. From the OG System 001, which piloted in 2018, to an upgraded version 002 launched just four years later, covering 2,700 square kilometers, which, by the way, is almost the same area as half a million football fields. That's right, successfully scooping out 84,000 kilograms of plastic from the ocean as we speak, SLAT's groundbreaking technology is being scaled up to a larger fleet of systems with plans to be deployed later this year. Thankfully, the project has garnered a tremendous amount of support over the past few years. From multinational companies like Coca-Cola and rock bands like Coldplay to individual governments like the Dutch government, this young man is not alone. Setting up a nonprofit at the age of 18 with a single goal to rid the world's oceans of plastic waste, the inspirational journey of this young ecopreneur is probably one of the most innovative environmental efforts of our time.